A pocket PC is a class of personal digital assistant, PDA, that runs the Windows Mobile or Windows Embedded Compact Operating System that has some of the abilities of modern desktop PCs. The name was introduced by Microsoft in 2000 as a rebranding of the palm size PC category. Some of these devices also had integrated phone and data capabilities, which were called Pocket PC Phone Edition. Windows Smartphone is another Windows CE-based platform for non-touch flip phones or dumber phones. As of 2010, thousands of applications existed for handhelds adhering to the Microsoft Pocket PC specification, many of which were freeware. Microsoft-compliant Pocket PCs can be used with many add-ons such as GPS receivers, barcode readers, RFID readers, and cameras. In 2007, with the advent of Windows Mobile 6.0, Microsoft dropped the name Pocket PC in favor of a new naming scheme. Windows Mobile Classic, formerly Pocket PC devices without an integrated phone. Windows Mobile Professional, formerly Pocket PC Phone Edition devices with an integrated phone and a touch screen. Windows Mobile Standard, formerly smartphone devices with an integrated phone but without a touch screen. Pocket PC was replaced by Windows Phone in 2010 but even after versions were released based on the Windows NT kernel were ultimately unable to compete with the iPhone of 2007 and Android phones and interest waned in Pocket PCs without phones. The Pocket PC was an evolution from prior calculator-sized computers. Keystroke programmable calculators which could do simple business and scientific applications were available by the 1970s. In 1982, Hewlett-Packard's HP 75 incorporated a one-line text display, an alphanumeric keyboard, HP basic language and some basic PDA abilities. The HP 95 LX, HP 100 LX and HP 200 LX series packed a PC-compatible MS-DOS computer with graphics display and QWERTY keyboard into a palm-top format. The HP OmniGo 100 and 120 used a pen and graphics interface on DOS-based PC-slash-GEOS, but was not widely sold in the United States. The HP 300 LX built a palm-top computer on the Windows CE operating system. Palm Size PC, PSPC, was Microsoft's official name for Windows CE PDAs that were smaller than handheld PCs by the lack of a physical keyboard. The class was announced in January 1998 originally as Palm PC which provoked a lawsuit by Palm Incorporated, and the name changed soon afterwards to Palm Size PC before release. These devices were similar to the handheld PC and also ran Windows CE, however this version was more limited and lacked Pocket Microsoft Office, Pocket Internet Explorer, ActiveX, and some other tools. Its main competitor was the Palm Pilot and Palm 3. According to the specification, Palm Size PCs use Super HSH3 processors and MIPS architecture. The term Palm Sized PC was also used as a generic term of similar such devices that are not necessarily connected to Microsoft, such as the Palm Pilot. Microsoft's handheld PCs and Palm Size PCs did not gain much success in the markets compared to Palm with users complaining the Windows CE software were hard to use and the devices themselves were thick. On April 19, 2000, Microsoft introduced Pocket PC with a revamped interface and to better compete against the popular Palm devices. The Pocket PC was based on the all-new version 3.0 of Windows CE. HP, Casio, and Compaq were the first OEMs with Pocket PC devices in 2000. The familiar desktop Windows UI from Palm Size PCs was removed in favor of a more tailored interface on Pocket PCs. According to Microsoft, the Pocket PC is a handheld device that enables users to store and retrieve email, contacts, appointments, tasks, play multimedia files, games, exchange text messages with Windows Live Messenger, formerly known as MSN Messenger, browse the web, and more. Prior to the release of Windows Mobile 2003, third-party software was developed using Microsoft's Embedded Visual Tools, Embedded Visual Basic, EVB, and Embedded Visual C, EVC. EVB programs can usually be converted fairly easily to NS Basic slash CE. 
or to BASIC 4 PPC. In 2007 the Pocket PC name was dropped altogether. The Pocket PC phone edition became Windows Mobile Professional, the smartphone became Windows Mobile Standard, and the classic phoneless Pocket PC, which by now had become a niche, became Windows Mobile Classic. The Pocket PC slash Windows Mobile OS was superseded by Windows Phone on February 15, 2010, when the latter was announced at Mobile World Congress that year. No existing hardware was officially supported for a Windows Phone 7 upgrade. Additionally, not a single one of the thousands of apps available for Windows Mobile would run unaltered on Windows Phone. From a technical standpoint, Pocket PC is a Microsoft specification that sets various hardware and software requirements for mobile devices bearing the Pocket PC label. For instance, any device which is to be classified as a Pocket PC must run Microsoft's Windows Mobile, Pocket PC Edition. Come bundled with a specific suite of applications in ROM. Note. The name Windows Mobile includes both the Windows CE operating system and a suite of basic applications along with a specified user interface. Include a touch screen. Include a directional pad or touchpad. Include a set of hardware application buttons. Be based on an ARM v4 compatible, Intel X scale, ARM v5, MIPS or SH3 CPU. As of the Pocket PC 2002 specification, ARM-based CPUs are required. Operating System Versions The first Windows Mobile 6.5 device was first shown in September 2009. Leaked ROM surfaced in July 2009 for specific devices. The generic ROM images for Mobile 6.5 are also available as part of the officially distributed and freely downloadable development kit. Several phones running Windows Mobile 6.1 can be updated to Windows Mobile 6.5. Microsoft's Windows Mobile 6.1 was announced on April 1, 2008, and introduced instant messaging like texting. Windows Mobile 6.1 was built upon Windows CE 5. Microsoft's Windows Mobile 6, internally codenamed Crossbow, was officially released by Microsoft on February 12, 2007. Mobile 6 was still based on Windows CE 5 and was effectively just a facelift of Windows Mobile 5. With Mobile 6 also came Microsoft's new naming conventions and devices were no longer called Pocket PCs, devices with no phone abilities were named Windows Mobile Classic, and devices with phone abilities were named Windows Mobile Professional. Windows Mobile 5 for Pocket PC was based on Windows CE 5 and contained many fixes and improvements over Windows Mobile 2003. Pocket PC's running prior versions of the operating system generally stored user-installed applications and data in RAM, which meant that if the battery was depleted the device would lose all of its data. Windows Mobile 5.0 solved this problem by storing all user data in persistent, flash, memory, leaving the RAM to be used only for running applications, as it would be on a desktop computer. As a result, Windows Mobile 5.0 Pocket PCs generally had more flash memory, and less RAM, compared to earlier devices. Windows Mobile 2003 consisted of the Windows CE.NET 4.2 operating system bundled with scaled-down versions of many popular desktop applications, including Microsoft Outlook, Internet Explorer, Word, Excel, Windows Media Player, and others. Windows Mobile 2003 Second Edition added native landscape, square screen, and VGA support as well as other fixes and changes to those features already present in the original release of Windows Mobile 2003. Pocket PC 2000 was launched April 2000, and ran Windows CE 3.0. Pocket PC 2000 featured a mobile version of Microsoft Office, a chief feature being the ability to password protect Excel files. Pocket PC 2002 was launched October 2001, and was powered by Windows CE 3.0, as with its predecessor. Some Pocket PC 2002 devices were also sold as phone editions, which included cell phone functionality in addition to the PDA abilities. Before the Pocket PC brand was launched, 
there were other Windows-based machines of the same form factor called palm size PCs. These devices ran Windows CE 2.0 to 2.11 and had an interface that was similar to the then current desktop versions of Windows like Windows 95. The first of these was the Everix Freestyle, also known as HTC Kangaroo, from 1998. Seventeen other examples include Casio Cassiopeia E10 E11, Compaq Air O1500 1520, Philips Nino and HP Hornada 420 430. Pocket PCs were manufactured and sold by several different companies, the major manufacturers include HP, under the IPAC and now defunct Hornada brands, Toshiba, Acer, Asus, Dell, under the now defunct Axum brand, Fujitsu Siemens, E10, HTC, and ViewSonic. In mid 2003, Gateway Computers and JVC announced they would release Pocket PCs, but the projects were discontinued before a product was released. Prices in 2003 ranged from around $800 US for the high end models, some of which are combined with cell phones, to $200 for low end models. A $100 to $200 model was rumored to be released within 2004 or early 2005, although the lowest price for a just released pocket PC never went under $300. Many companies ceased to sell PDAs by 2003 to 2004 because of a declining market. Major companies such as ViewSonic and Toshiba stopped producing new pocket PCs. Companies like O2, T-Mobile and Orange were marketing pocket PCs that have integrated mobile telephony, smartphones. All users have to do is put in the SIM card and follow the wizard, to put their SIM contacts in the address book. An example is O2's XDA, or T-Mobile's MDA Compact. Both of these devices, while bearing the phone operator's logo, are manufactured by the dominant pocket PC manufacturer HTC. One of the more popular high-end consumer market pocket PCs was the Dell Axum X51V, which was discontinued in 2007. Hardware specs included 3.7 color TFT VGA display with 640x480 resolution, Intel X scale TMPXA270 processor at 624 MHz, 336 MB of memory, 256 MB flash, 64 MB SDRAM, integrated 802.11b and Bluetooth 1.2. Integrated Intel 2700G Multimedia Accelerator with 16 MB video memory. Expansion was possible via Compact Flash Type 2 and SD slots, supporting SDIO Now, SDIO and MMC cards. Included is a 1100 mAh user replaceable battery, EST 4 to 6.5 hours, 2200 mAh also available. Some pocket PCs featured integrated GPS often combined with mobile phone functionality. Pocket PCs with built-in telephony differ from Windows Mobile Smartphone Edition devices in several respects, including the lack of a touch screen on the latter. Some examples of current pocket PCs with GPS integrated are the Fujitsu Siemens Pocket Lux N560, a high-end pocket PC with a VGA screen and an integrated SIRF Star 3 GPS, the HTC Tai TN, a small communicator with integrated slide in keyboard, the HP HW6945 and HP IPAC HW6515 with integrated thumbboard, GPS and GSM slash GPRS telephony, the HTC top of the line Universal, branded as the Q Tech 9000, also branded by various telecommunications companies as the Orange SPV M5000, T Mobile MDA Pro. Vodafone. VPA4, O2 XDA Exec, I made JAS Jar, Dopod 900. A newer entrant into the pocket PC market was its rival Palm, which sold devices like the Trio 700W slash WX based on Windows Mobile 5.0 and featuring integrated telephony. Previous to this, Palm only produced PDAs running its own Palm OS, as did the first versions of the Palm Trio before it was losing popularity to pocket PCs Windows Mobile. HTC manufactured up to 80% of all phone-enabled Windows Mobile devices for other companies, including HP and O2, 
as well as many non-phone pocket PCs, for companies such as Dell, HP, and Fujitsu Siemens, as of 2006. HTC was by now marketing Windows mobile devices under their own brand, as well as that of Dopod. Thank you for watching this video.